Hello and welcome back to Sorted Food. Now, as the world of food and drink becomes more and more convenient, we thought we'd test a bunch of food subscriptions to see if they're worth signing up or if they simply don't make the cut. You can't start with the puns already. We haven't even got into it yet. We're going strong. Ta-da! Perky Blenders Specialty Coffee. A coffee subscription. Yep, Jay, this is coffee subscription from Perky Blenders. Perky Blenders send coffee through the post to keep everyone nicely caffeinated. That, to me, stands out. I'd love to learn more about coffee, but it's the same with anything that we do. We don't want to become snobby or pretentious about it. We just want to be able to enjoy something and have a bit more knowledge about it. These guys have won Indy's Best Coffee Subscription Service, recently won two Time Out Awards as Best Coffee Place within three London postcodes. We've been signed up for a couple of weeks, so we've got a few different flavours. We've also got a forest blend, and we've got Thousand Hills. All different tasting notes, from different origins, and it's a bit of a lucky dip. Yes, you choose the grind, but they will mix up the flavours. Wow. Let's give them a go. So Perky Blenders is a couple of brothers who set it up. They started by just selling coffee out of a cart. Then they expanded to supply coffee to a few coffee shops and a few kind of artisanal places. And now they've realised that expertise can actually be delivered to your door. And I think that's in part because of the changing habits of the last year or so. More people working from home and more people upping their coffee game at home. Let's go for the sour blend first. Cheers. Ooh. Rich. It's very nice. Very, very nice. There's a smokiness to it, but not like a burning smokiness. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the sourness from it I get well. sour, not smoke. And this is the forest blend. Oh, okay. That's more Ooh. you. More smooth, yeah. That is chocolate. Yeah. That is big time chocolate. Really smooth. They're very different from each other, but not in a way that makes me go, I prefer one over the other. They are noticeably different in terms of their broad flavour profiles. I don't know if I could pick out plum or cranberry or chocolate or whatever the other one was. However, both really good and both quite different. I never do this with coffee though. No, and that's, I'm, that's the thing I find really interesting. Is that the kind of the point of a subscription? You, you're educating yourself as much as you are just feeding your pleasures. Mm. To potentially pay a little bit more, but have some more knowledge about what it is that I'm drinking, know that it's ethically sourced and know that it's doing all the right things and I'm I'm improving myself and my knowledge and things. I think that's a good thing. So in that case, how much? Subscription? through your letterbox, biodegradable, well-sourced, freshly roasted and curated. I reckon £10 per bag, three months, £30. Oh no, you're doing a face. Oh, I can't tell whether I'm an, un as, as an underface or an overface. It's quite an overface. Oh really? You can have three bags, one a month, for £19.50. So it's, it's cool. £6.50 a bag. Okay, I'm happy with that because it takes a decision out of my hands in terms of what do I get, have I got that one before, oh, I don't know, did I like that one? Yeah, doesn't matter. Send me stuff and it's gonna be new and interesting every time. In which case, Jay, worth the grind or would you leave it behind? This is worth a grind. I reckon I'll probably sign up tonight when I get home. Your turn, Baz. Lift the cloth. Oh, you know what I'm gonna say? Oh, he's done it already, isn't he? He's well, done it already, what's the point? These guys are pretty early to the kind of food subscription box game um, and I was intrigued by the idea at the start. This is an artisan pasta recipe kit from Pasta Evangelists and they say that pasta makes everything feel better so why not make pasta taste better? Inspired by a simple mission to bring the freshness and quality of the style of pasta that he grew up making, the founder, with his nonna in Italy to our British kitchens. So you can pick and choose the frequency of delivery and whether you want single portion or double portion. We've given you two boxes of single portion. So you've got four times one portion. So we can see the variety. Well, I, I guess I should start cooking something, shouldn't I, really? Deal. To test this fairly, I wanted to try three very different dishes. There's a lasagna, which all you have to do is carbon off, plastic off, into the oven. That is always impossible! <laughs> into an oven for 15 minutes. So the other two I'm gonna try is the, the, the tortelloni is the most extravagant of them all. Lobster, it's something that I wouldn't cook midweek, but this looks really easy and could tempt me in. The other is carbonara. 
something that I can make with my eyes closed. So for me, a carbonara is absolutely one of those throw together meals. While the pasta's cooking, you're frying off whatever your flavour is, traditionally pancetta, but it can be done with a number of other things. And then your sauce is egg yolks, sometimes whole eggs, depending on where you are, parmesan and black pepper. It's pretty much it. Use the pasta water and it all combines. This has got cream in it, which I think helps to stabilise it and helps to make it even easier for at home. But you would get slapped around the face if you took this to Italy. I'd have thought so. We've done it that way before and the comments had a go. Yes. So of interest, Baz, which one did you sack off? The only one I haven't, I'm not cooking right now, is the ragu. Because um, I think I know it's going to be great. A ragu takes ages to make and something that I know I can't do at home and I know that's going to be amazing. So every week there is a changing menu. Dozen, 15 or so different recipes, I'm sure there's favourites that come and go. The menu gives you not just the method, the ingredients, the allergens, obviously, but wine pairings and a little bit about each dish. Nice. The region in Italy and you kind of learn bits and pieces as you go. Cheers. 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 Ooh. This is not really pretty. <laughs> that is definitely luxurious. That is laced with a lot of cream. Very rich. Oh, naughty. This feels also very naughty. It is a very rich, creamy, cheesy sauce. And I like it a lot. Which makes it a trio because I'd say not necessarily too rich actually, but super, super, there's that word, depth of flavour, and that comes from the bisque, and all the shells that take forever to make if you're making your own bisque, because that sauce is phenomenal, and the fish is really fresh. They're delicious. It's just, for me, as a subscription, it just doesn't quite make sense. It's a bit different to most subscriptions, because it's not a reoccurring price. You get 15 dishes to choose from each week, of which you pick two, and depending on which dishes, the prices vary. Okay. So the pasta carbonara, seven pounds for a single portion. You get a discount if you do the double portion, it's not twice that, it's a, it's a bit less. Whereas the tortelloni with the crab and the lobster and the prawn bisque, 11 pound 50 for a single portion. No denying, it's easy and it's convenient. And I think if you wanted to taste different regions of Italy, maybe once a month and actually do the whole get the wine to pair with it, yeah. explore the region, understand the region, then it's yeah. quite a nice way of curating that. For me, I don't get it as a subscription. I think it becomes very expensive for the experience. This is purely good quality convenience. Well, there's only going to be one question on everyone's lips, Baz. Yeah. Is it pasta through the posty, maybe? Or is it pasta la vista, baby? I, <laughs> I think it's pasta through the post, maybe, because I'd, I'd just do it the once and then I might cancel that subscription. I love it as a treat. And I must just stop there. Ebba's in the hot seat. Lift it, boy. <laughs> Earth and wheat. Crumpy. Oh. Ooh. Focaccia. Seeded wraps. Wholemeal tortilla. Pancakes. This is the Earth and Wheat Wonky Bread Box. In fact, they are the UK's first wonky bread box, connecting UK bakeries directly with customers looking to reduce food waste. They deliver perfectly tasty, fresh bread that would otherwise have gone to waste due to appearance standards or overproduction. Straight off, not a problem I'd considered. So I like the concept and the principle. 24 million pieces of bread are wasted in the UK every day. That's 12 million sandwiches, Barry. <laughs> Well, Evers, it's bread and we'd happily just eat it, but you're a chef, so do you want to rustle up some stuff to put with the bread and then we'll try that? Okay, I've raided the fridge and given what we've got in the box, a few things I think we could do. His version of raiding the fridge is very different from mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dairy dunkers and maybe a three-week-old baby bell. And some salad cream. And some salad cream. <laughs> <laughs> what a nightmare. <laughs> Have you spotted anything wrong with any of the breads? They're all super fresh. They don't look very wonky to me. They look exactly the same. They just haven't got a home to go to. Aww. Aww. I'm going to give them a great home. 
in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> right, those crumpets, toasty, toasty warm, which means they need butter, and what they absolutely need is some homemade Seville marmalade. He's brought that in from home. He has brought that in from home. Can I give you a statistic that I find really hard to believe? Go on. So this is from Earth and Wheat's website. Each box you rescue helps to save our planet, rescuing around 3,240 litres of fresh water and 3,053 grams of CO2 from going to waste. That's some big numbers from every box, from a box of bread. Somebody has had to plough the field, sow the seed, look after all of the crop, harvest it, mill it, bag it, transport it to a baker. The baker's got their premises, they've put their own labour in, their own expertise, their own ovens, they've then packaged it, and then it ends up in the bin. That's a real shame. I think it's that chain you're saving. Mm, it's astonishing, isn't it? When you think about it like that. I mean, talk about variety. What, Ebers, what have you done there? Store cupboard staples, a couple of focaccia with some char-grilled asparagus. This one's got sun-dried tomato, capel and parmesan. This one's got olive some pickled um, cabbage and feta, crumpets, butter, Seville orange marmalade, and this is blueberry and maple compote with Greek yoghurt. None of that looks wonky. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. That, if anything, is fresher than I'd get it in the supermarket. Which has been on the shelf for a few days, but almost certainly. And that's one of the things they say on the website. These breads come directly from the bakers and get sent out the next day. Let's talk money, Ebbers. How much are you thinking? You get a new box delivered to you every Wednesday. £10 of bread a week? £6.99 delivered to your door. That seems smart. That, it does feel like a pretty good deal. I think you'd struggle to get that much bread off the supermarket shelf for that price. I know everyone in the audience is already asking it, but let me ask you now. In the audience? Yes. They're sitting there in sitting the audience. There with these exact words on the tip of their tongue. Are they on a bread roll, or will the direct debit take its toll? Well, I don't think at that price the direct debit's going to take a toll, if that much bread is for you. So on a roll. Lift the metal thing. Right. Go! The Brixton Wine Club. Oh. Oh! In a can? Cans of wine? This is the Brixton Wine Club and they say, we are wine lovers, not wine snobs. Brixton Wine Club sells premium wines just in cans. No need for underground cellar or fancy wine fridges, just great wines ready to drink at a moment's notice. It means you get more variety. And as that's well. why I love it, because in order to try lots of wines, you have to open lots of bottles of wine. And actually, smaller measures makes it easier to try a greater variety and expand your knowledge. So Barry, open up one to six and let's pour some samples out. I'm opening up all the drinks. Brixton wine as a whole are premium wines in cans. And they've actually had a master of wine, so highest qualification in wine, it's only 400 or so around the world, who could not taste the difference in a blind tasting of the fact that it had come from a can. Also, a fairly inert way of storing wine. It shouldn't impact the flavour. These are sealed. They've got a special lining on the tin, so they're not going to affect the wine. They're not going to taste aluminium in me. So this is their juice box, which means that once a month you get six wines, and it is a real mixture. Or if you prefer whites or sparkling or reds, then you can pick and choose your box. But this is the juice box that has the mixture. Right, well, I should keep drinking. <laughs> Firstly, Can Seco Rosé. It's absolutely delicious. I'd have no idea that was from a can and not a bottle. Pop it down, move on to the next one. Okay, sure, we can. So, so what I love is you get very, very basic tasting notes, and they basically say, if you want to just enjoy wine, who cares what the tasting notes are? Or if you want to know about the tasting notes, they do live Instagrams once a month, and we'll talk you through, in the course of half an hour, all the wines, all the vineyards, all the vinters, and tell you all the different notes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A lot smoother. I find white wines, they can be a bit acidy and a bit... 
that's really smooth and goes ah. Well, that's that's the Sauvignon Blanc. And this is generally how we see Ebbers on a night out. <laughs> Triple pop. <laughs> what I love about Brixton wine, and I watch their wine tasting, is they have a few rules. No red trousers. <gasps> yes. Does that include red shorts? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no spittoons. And ultimately, enjoy the process. It cuts through all the crap. She tells it to you, but then she kind of says, and these are tasty notes, but if you get something different, that's also cool. If you don't care, drink at the beach and enjoy it. It doesn't matter. Okay, so talking about price, you can vary whether you buy three, four, or six cans in your monthly subscription, but we got the six. So how much did we pay for six? 30 pounds. Including shipping, you're bang on. Ooh. So they work out at five pounds each. Gonna cost you more to go to a restaurant and buy six glasses of different wines, but you can do it at your own leisure. There's, there's various options for this question, Baz. Of course. Um, I'm just gonna go with one of them, so we'll see how we get on. Is it hmm. wine in a tin or straight in the bin? What was the other one? <laughs> <laughs> wine through the post or would you not raise a toast? Oh yeah, I prefer that. Um, I think it's, it's gotta be wine in the post. So over to you guys. Would you sign up for any of these food or drink subscriptions? If so, why? If not, why not? Comment down below if you've also seen other food subscriptions you'd love for us to give a go. And as always, give the video a thumbs up. Have you ever got to the end of a long day with no ideas, ingredients, or energy to cook? Takeaway? Hmm, it'll be the fourth this week. Well, that's why we built our revolutionary Meal Packs app. Thousands of people are using it to shop, cook, and eat a whole lot better and easier while saving money as a result. You can go and use it in its entirety for free for a whole month and see if it's for you. The link is in the description box below. And now for the blooper. Would you like to grind or are you going to leave it behind? That's not the no, one we agreed. No, no. That's not how we agreed it. <laughs> no, that was no, not go, the no. wording. <laughs>